This book was written by the same two guys who wrote the book Sprint. The new Make Time book is all about how to slow down, take a step back, and actually make more time in your life for things that you're really passionate about. The book is split into four sections. We've got Highlight, we've got Laser, we've got Energize, and we've got Reflect. That's four. <laughs> I counted. These four breakdowns are just sort of an easy way for you to think about your time and how you're spending it. In all four of these sections, there are little like time management tools and tactics that you can use to create more time and space in your day. And to prove it to you, over the course of the next week, I'm going to try out three of these tips and see how I do. See if it helps make any time in my life. So, the three things that I'm gonna try are Number one, become a morning person. Now, I have battled with this one for a while because I have heard many, many people talk about how the morning is the most productive time. It's when everything's quiet, there's not much going on. But according to Jay-Z, which is an excellent uh, acronym for your name. Yeah, it's a really good idea. Uh, he it changed his life becoming a morning person. He now goes to bed at 9.30 p.m. and wakes up at 5.30 a.m., which is kind of a crazy early time. I'm gonna try to aim for like 6.30. Okay, so this morning was my first try of becoming a morning person, um, and it was interesting. I pressed the snooze button twice, but eventually got out of bed, um, you know, opened up the windows, made sure there was lots of light pouring into the apartment, made a really nice coffee, and actually sat down and did my morning pages. And I feel very refreshed and um, just like ready for a really good day. So I'm gonna keep this one going, I think, for a little while longer. Now, the second tactic that I'm gonna try out is quit when you're done. This tactic is all about the idea that we always feel like we can squeeze a little bit more out of ourselves at the end of the day. So what I'm gonna do is actually have a real set goal of once I'm finished this task, then I'm done for the day. And not even if I finish the task a little bit earlier, I'm not gonna start doing more new tasks. Okay, it is just past six and I'm just leaving the office right now. Honestly, this is a really tough one. I'm having a little bit of problem, a little bit of trouble with the um, quit when you're done. This is just difficult for me to actually say, no, I don't need to do anything else. I'm totally finished. I've done enough for today. So this will be something that I'll have to work on a little bit more over the next few days. But I am determined to uh, make Jake proud. So till tomorrow. And the last tactic that I'm gonna try out in the next week is skip the morning check-in. So um, this is all about the fact that a lot of people when they wake up, including myself, I'm really bad for this, I look directly at my phone. Right away, I turn it off airplane mode, all my messages flood in, my emails, and I'm instantly in like reactive mode where I'm like, oh, I gotta answer that, oh, I should message this person. So instead of starting your day with this influx of information, actually being able to choose what you do at the beginning of your day. And I think that these two tactics of be a morning person and skip the morning check-in are great ones to try together because they relate. Okay, so this morning was the first time I skipped the morning check-in. Now this was something that was a little extra hard for me since of course my whole job revolves around um, our social media. Not being able to do this was so challenging. And then what ended up happening was I actually had like a block of about 45 minutes before I had to leave for work where I could work on like my own stuff. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. It's Jake. How's it going there? I, I'm really eager to hear how your make time, make time, make time experiments went. So how did they go? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Actually, I can't hear you because this is just a video I'm recording on my iPhone. It's not a video call. But I bet that you learned something. I bet you learned something, uh, or I hope so. I hope that you learned something. That's the whole idea with make time is to kind of run these little experiments every day to, to try to change the defaults, make some redesigns in the way we spend our time each day. 
And so I'm really glad that you that you did it, that you gave it a try. Thanks for taking the time to do the experiments, Brittany. So it seems that I actually didn't do too bad uh, in my first few days of applying some of the Make Time tactics. So that's a nice little summary of Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Saretsky. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're you know excited about reading this book because it is so fantastic. We'll have a link to the book on Amazon just below in the description, so you can go ahead and check it out there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, also like this video if you'd like to see more book summaries by Brittany or someone else at this lovely uh, AJ and Smart office. A question that I have for you is, what is a project that you've been wanting to start or wanting to work on, or even like a small thing that you've wanted to do for a super long time, and because you are too busy, don't have the time, haven't been able to make the time, uh, you know, you haven't gotten around to it yet. I'd love to know that in the comments, so do let us know that, and have a wonderful day, and see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Stop watching this video. Go do something. Go do something important. See ya.